breathers hunted. In the Amazon, there's a fish that must come up for air regularly. Meet the Arapaima, or Piraruku, a river giant over two meters long, weighing as much as a person with armor-like scales, a bony tongue. It breathes with a lung-like swim bladder. Every 10 to 20 minutes it surfaces, takes a loud gulp, then slips back under the lily pads. And that predictable breath made it an easy target. For generations, hunters waited in silence. When the back broke the surface, thwack, harpoon, rope, canoe, done. They were so efficient that in many parts of the Amazon, Arapaima were almost wiped out. Not because people hated the fish, because it was there, it was big, it had to breathe. Here's the twist. The same breath that doomed them is helping save them. You can count Arapaima by counting those breaths. Communities in places like Mamirawa Reserve now do exactly that. Trained counters listen at dawn, tally surfacings, set strict quotas based on science. Fish one season, protect the next, leave the big breeders. Where these rules are enforced, populations rebound fast. Arapaima are parents too. They guard nests in the flood season, herding clouds of fry through drowned forests. Take too many adults and you don't just lose fish, you lose whole generations. If you ever see Piraruku on a menu, choose managed legal catch from community programs. It supports local livelihoods and keeps the giants breathing. I love that idea. A fish saved by counting its breaths. From breathers, hunted to breathers, protected. The Amazon is loud with life, but sometimes conservation is quiet. A ripple, a gulp, a pencil mark in a notebook, and a future secured. Thanks for listening. If this surprised you, share it. And the next time you hear a gulp in a green river, you'll know a giant just took another chance at survival.